Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Six box, half case, pick your team, two. Um, brand new release. A lot of great stuff here. Good luck everybody, thanks for getting in. Appreciate this group for getting their teams outright. Here on the 31st, it's a good way to end the month. We'll switch to a Serif font tomorrow. For you font fans out there. We did a random number block, we pulled these teams out, and we turned it into a serial number break. So there are the results right there. That We did that in a separate video if you're looking for that. Keep that right here. And here is the break. This is the second half. Got George Brett on the cover. Uh, the, the pride of El Segundo, George Brett. And Lars Newfar. And Lars Newfar, that's right. Jonathan Kent looking for the Red Sox in the second half here. All the Red Sox. We're, what, did we see any in the first half? No, Lars Newbar is not, not here, though. Although he should, should come by the shop. Lars, if you're listening, yeah, feel free to stop by. All right, so we're gonna slide the base card off the bottom because the hit should be right there. Did we see, for those of you who were in the first half, did we see a frame in the first half? Or should we be looking for a frame? No frame in the first half? Okay. All right. There's Otani. There's a Kirby Puckett to 99. And obviously, all cards will ship. Jackson Holiday. Colton Count. Jackson Holiday with a granny. Yeah. So, in case you were wondering, oh, is this guy a bust? No, man. You're not the number one prospect in baseball for nothing. You know, he'll figure it out. That'll go to the Orioles. That's a random number block team, and this is not numbered. So what we're going to do at the end of the break, we'll randomize these names. Right, One person will get all the non-numbered cards for that group of teams. All the hits are numbered, so I think we shouldn't, we shouldn't have a problem with that. All right, and our hits... We have Juan Gon Gonzalez, nine out of 50. A little, uh, little indent right there. Just a look out for that. It's gonna be a 75. Yeah, 75 point. Top loader is snug. That'll be for Justin and the Rangers. Behind Jazz Chisholm is Jordan Westberg, 17 out of 99, just a Broke his wrist today. Not good, got, got hit on, on the wrist. He'll be out for a little bit. Possibly the remainder of the season. They're optimistic though. This is gonna go to, so if you forgot about the number block, we haven't done these in a while, we go by that digit right there. Not that, but that one. So number seven, we'll get seven out of whatever, 17 out of whatever, 27, 37, 47, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that'll be for Eugene with the number seven. We got a triple relic and autograph. That is David Justice, 15 out of 299. Triple relic and auto. It's pretty cool. Justice is served to Jonathan B. and the Braves. There's the cheater uh, sketch card replica, and then quad relic Tristan Casas, 12 out of 99. Jonathan K, Red Sox. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Box two. West is getting a little, yeah, getting a little close. Um, I think the Do Dodgers are playing the Padres tonight. I think this might be the winner. Yeah, the winner of this game is going to have the season record or the season. You know what I mean? Oh. For the tiebreaker. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if if on the rare. For the series? Yeah, for the series. The season series. There, there you go. I'm trying to spit that out. Oh, so... so. Oh, no. So maybe that's already done. Yeah, they got to they gotta win the series. Oh, no. Because the okay, they play each other one more time in L.A., I think. Uh, so this will be key for a tiebreaker. Yeah. Because they got to win this one and then win the other three or four game series later in the season. He's coming off a no-hitter. Right, a coming scary. off a no-no, yeah. yeah. He's locked in. I think there's tiebreaker implications here. That's a nice artist proof for the Dodgers. It's numbered. He did really well during the trade. Yeah. Yeah. All right, box two of six, half case break. Got Bobby Witt Jr., 195 out of 199. That'll go to Ed P. and the Royals. He's obviously having a pretty incredible season. And some of these can be the actual sketch card. We can possibly see one of ones right there. All right, we got a quad relic, uh, all different players. So this will be part of a randomizer, 39 out of 49. Julio Rodriguez, Juan Soto, Ronald Acuna Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr. These guys are pretty good. Breaking news. So there'll be a rando between Seattle, which is a number block team, the Yankees, uh, Matt Smith, Braves, Jonathan B., and Padres, Marcy. So there's only one random number block person, that's the Seattle Mariners. So Seattle 9, Eugene, will be part of that randomizer at the end of the break. Here is Triple Relic and Autograph, Alec Thomas. Nine out of 10. That's nice. Yeah, I was like, nice patch, it's gotta be a low number. That's Tim, Last Spot Mojo. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits all the time. <laughs> there it is. All right, and this artist proof is really cool. 17 out of 50. Dodger seven is gonna be Eugene with the Yoshinobu Yamamoto artist proof. And then more Diamondbacks, Corbin Carroll, 27 out of 299. More for Tim. And behind Ichiro is Josh Young jersey, 21 out of 99. Another box. Got that Jackson Holiday over there. It's cool in the first half, like some of the relics, they got like dirt stains on them. Ooh, so nice. So they got some, good, got some good game use stuff here. Yeah, pretty cool. Thomas, what's your take on on closers? Closer by committee? If you're a closer, do you want to know that you're a closer or do you care? For well, you personally. I feel like I'd want to know. You'd want to know, right? Yeah. Know that they think I'm the big dog. Right. That and that's the confidence. Ninth inning, you know that you can just mentally prepare for that yeah. every night instead yeah. of being like, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, like, just 
You know, yeah. I'm the right. Coach. That's me. Right. There's the frame. Yeah, maybe the Dodgers just have to say, hey, you're it. Yeah. And then just Instead go, of trying to bounce just go with it, yeah. That just gives them, when all the pitch is probably more nervous. Like, yeah. Oh, i got to lock in this spot. i got to yeah. put too much pressure. If you just know, then it's just... I mean, just give it to somebody. Evan Phillips, Daniel Hudson, somebody. Yeah, Evan Phillips is really good. Yeah. All right, frame on the left side right here. Good luck, everybody. Let's work through these first. There's Jackson Merrill rookie card. There's a Buster Posey to 50. It'll be for, there's Ellie Dela Cruz rookie card. Oh, you know what, why I set aside that Jackson Holiday is because these are non-numbered cards. It's gonna remind me to do that randomizer at the end. The Buster Posey will go to Raymond, who has number one in the random number block. And the Padres, this Jackson Merrill will go to Marcy. Got the Padres straight up. It's pretty good. We have dual relic and autograph. That is Jonah Heim, 11 out of 25. And the relics look really nice this year. That's going to be uh, Texas. That's going to go to Justin with the Rangers. Got the Rangers straight up. Behind Julio is Julio. Primary pieces, quad relic. It's a nice one right there, the classic blue and yellow. 13 out of 25 on that one. Seattle. So it's going to go to Seattle 3. That's Eugene. Last ball mojo. Rex has a question for you, Thomas. So you being a pitcher, mm -hmm. oh, we've talked about this before, how much effect does a catcher have on your performance? Uh, in the beginning stages, when you don't really know him in my effect, you don't know what he's capable of at the time. You don't know if he's going to block all the balls. You don't know if you can trust throwing that slider in the dirt or not. Over time, it's definitely a lot easier. So it's the same guy. So the guy. The catcher also knows what you're capable of. If he has to over exaggerate on throwing outside, he's got to set up way out of the plate. Right. Or going down and getting the low pitch if you miss low a lot. Yeah, this question comes from Rex thinking like, you know, once Yachty left, the St. Louis pitchers, you know, got maybe got could be argued they got worse. Yeah. I think when you're talking Hall of Famer level, yeah, then I think that does probably does make a difference. But yeah. I think for the most part, it's on the pitch calling too. You know, like, yeah. Like but at the end of the day, the pitchers still have to execute. So yeah. I, I don't know how much they do have an effect. Um, Timothy with the Diamondbacks. I mean, it really shouldn't affect. Them, but right, it does. but it does. <laughs> All right, behind Pedro is. Eddie Murray, two out of five. Ooh. Nice, our, my first train whistle of the day. And that's gonna be for Baltimore two. Raymond with two. Raymond. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I think if you're a veteran pitcher, though, but it, I don't know if the catcher has too much of an effect. The Dodgers have, for example, have a younger pitching staff right now. They're working a lot of young guys. At that point, maybe having Will Smith does make sense. Rex also wants to know how many times in your pitching career, Thomas, have you wanted to hit batters? <laughs> oh, definitely a couple times. How, and then how many times do you actually do it? Like twice. Twice. <laughs> what? What? Well, there's what, times I've missed. <laughs> <laughs> that happens too. Yeah. So for you, what 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 would it take for you to be like, I'm gonna hit this guy. I'm gonna throw behind him next at bat. Like what? Uh, what does it take? Late slide in the second base. Oh, so taking if out, he affects one of your guys. Yeah, taking out somebody. Right. Or like 
Like if he bat flips on me or something. Right, like, right, right. Just trying to show up. Like sure, have your fun, but don't stare me down for 20 minutes, 20 seconds right. around in the bases. Right. You get one in the ear hole. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Obviously, one of our guys gets plunked. Like you got it, yeah. You got your two in a row or something. Yeah, you're like, come on, one you'll accident maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. depending on who you're playing the rivalry. But there was one time in high school, so it was like one on varsity, my teammate, like and then lost his girlfriend to another guy on the other team. Oh no! <laughs> so he's like, dude, you better throw at me. Yeah. If you like me as a friend, you'll hit him. I'm like, alright. I'm 17 or 16 years old. Screw it, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hit him? Yeah. Where'd you get him? Right in the back. Right in the back. <laughs> I mean, hopefully in a soft spot in the back. We don't want to We don't want to hurt the guy. Yeah, though. I don't want to hurt the guy. But, you know, maybe, maybe just throw an off speed into his back yeah, or something like that. Yeah. All right, there's Wyatt Langford for Texas. That's going to be for Justin. Boggs is going to go to Boston. Jonathan. And for the Giants, that's Jung Hoo Lee. That'll be for number nine. Which will be for Eugene. Uh, Thomas pitched for uh, Cal State Northridge. It's been a couple seasons there. Behind Willie Mays is Luis Arias, 29 out of 299, Marlins edition. Boggs was numbered to 199. That'll be for uh, Capola and the Fish. Another Mike Trout sketch card. And Gunnar Henderson, nice. 80 out of 99. Nice Gunner. 8-0 out of 99. So Baltimore 0 will be for Zach Sullivan. You go, Zach. Behind Corey Seager is Craig Biggio. 8 out of 10. His son's on the Dodgers. Kevin, this is Astros. This is going to be for Jason. And there's Matt Olson, 77 out of 99, quad relic. All right, two more boxes to go. Yeah, Thomas was uh, did declare for the draft, did not get drafted. Unfortunately, there was a bit of uh, shadiness from the his coaching staff. But he's going to work on maybe being picked up at some point. Still working out. So best of luck to him. Of the young pitchers today, who does Thomas think? Are the, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll ask him when he comes back. I mean, it's hard to compare anybody to Kershaw or Verlander because, you know, they're like Hall of Famers. So, I mean, they're special for a reason, and I don't think you're going to see guys like that too often. I don't know, what does everyone else think? I mean, at, at, at one point, maybe maybe Jacob deGrom was kind of going to be one of those guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess this season, Kevin's right. Skeens and Tariq Scuba are looking pretty special. All right, Skeens, there, there's your righty. Scuba's a lefty, right? Okay. So there you go, I mean... Tariq School could be the next, you know, next lefty, next big lefty, and then Paul Skeens is a big dominant righty. So,
Yeah, Imanaga's a little bit older, so he's he's not a, he's not a young pup. So that's why I'm saying those younger guys. Uh, Churio is going to go to EA and the Brewers. The uh, Schmidt will go to Coppola and the Phillies, and Stan the Man will go to Terry and the Cardinals. All right, Imanaga's old, so. Rex talking young pitchers and wants to shoehorn in uh, Imanaga. And he's trying to claim he's not just as a Cubs fan, but it certainly, it most certainly is. Here's Aaron Judge, 51 out of 99. Quadruple relic, quad relic for your, st I think he's still the odds on favorite for the MVP. It's okay, Rex. We know you're biased towards the Cubs. Here is Garrett Mitchell, 16 out of 50. Dual relic and autograph for the Brew Crew. It's going to be for EA Sports. It's in the game. Behind the Babe. Meaningful material, Ronald Acuna Jr., 60 out of 99 for Jonathan B. and the Braves. I think that's a good point, Kevin. I think with the high velocity, spin rates, pitchers getting injured more often, I wonder if we have to reframe how we, how we view the pitchers of this generation. Guys like Kershaw, here's Jim Rice, 84 out of 299 for Jonathan K. I think we may have to reframe how we view pitching. You know, because I think Kershaw and Verlander are probably, and Scherzer are probably the last guys of the generation who are going to be like 200 plus innings a year for 15 years, 15, 20 years and stuff like that. Probably not too many pitchers are going to do that ever. Right. Because Rex was wondering, he wanted your opinion on, uh, you know, who's, who's like the next Kershaw or Verlander? Course. Yeah, I don't see. I don't, I don't even know if we're gonna see those guys like that anymore. Yeah, nice Jim Rice, Jonathan. Uh, Josh is thinking. You know what? Maybe you'll. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see some people adapting. You know, after all these arms are getting blown out and the high spin rate stuff, maybe more people are like, maybe we can find a way to pitch instead of just throw hard. Yeah, Maddox, Greg Maddox, obviously. There's, there's one pitcher in the league now. It's fastball. I guess it's like 90 or 91. Maybe a Phillies pitcher or something. Yeah. It's like, just locates 90. Anyway. Yeah, who is that guy? I feel like I know who you're talking about. I think I was in here with you one time. And it came well, we must have been watching on it. Yeah, and he was just throwing, throwing like... He was just dotty so 90s, though, yeah. But he had an off speed that was like 10 miles per hour slower. Yeah. But he would just locate. Maybe Ranger Suarez? I don't know if it was Ranger. Dude. Keep naming Phillies pitchers. <laughs> Sanchez, maybe. Maybe it, was that, maybe it was Sanchez on the Phillies. Oh, and Chris Sanchez, maybe? Now, Noah throw was kind of hard, right? I don't think it was Aaron Noah. I think we were, we were watching a Dodgers-Phillies game the other week, and then it was just like, this guy was, this guy was just, I think it was Chris Sanchez. He was just, didn't have overpowering stuff, but the, 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 the location was incredible. He was just putting it anywhere he wanted. As if he just, as if he just he just like walked the ball to the catcher. He couldn't place it any better. All right, sixth and final box. The next half case break will be from a fresh case, and um, and get your teams before they end up in another random number block. It could be in there already. Nick might have done that already. Junior Camarero might be the next Rays big star right here. That's going to be for Marcy. Oh, 
I think it was Trevor Williams. Oh, is it Trevor Nationals. Williams? Nationals. His fastest fastball this year, 89.2. Wow. <laughs> Behind Mickey Mantle gave away the mantle today. If you want to see the results, watch the video. It's a good time. Thanks, everybody. Here's a quad relic, Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. I hope his kid's okay. Freddie Freeman has been been addressing some some family issues. I think his I think his kid was in the hospital for a night. I think he's out, but. Yeah, he's not in the lineup tonight. All right. Behind Nolan Ryan is Jonah Heim. Another one. 89 out of 99. Dual relic and autograph for Texas. Behind Yamamoto is Heston Kirkstad. Nice. 73 out of 99. One of their many young hitters coming up the ranks. Hopefully you'll find some playing time somewhere. That's going to go to Baltimore. Baltimore 3. That will be for Eugene with Baltimore 3. Nice. The Yamamoto rookie card will be part of the uh, non-numbered card randomizer. Winner take all. And behind the Jason Mingus replica is a piece of Jeff Bagwell's lumber, 31 out of 49, Legends Relic. Right there, all right. So we do have some non-numbered cards and this four-player randomizer that we got to do. So let's flip over to random.org. Gather everybody's names for a chance at the non-numbered cards. And then the quad relic is Julio, Juan Soto, Cunha Jr. and Tatis Jr. One dice roll for both lists. Good luck. Uh, three and a five. Five and a three, eight times. Name on top after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So Raymond, you'll get those non-numbered cards. The Eli De La Cruz rookie card, Yamamoto, and uh, Jackson Holiday. Nice, and whatever other non-numbered cards I may have missed. But you'll get those, Raymond. Five into three, eight times for the quad relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Goes to New York. Three sad people and one happy Matt Smith who gets the quad relic wins the randomizer. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Museum collection. Brand new release. Keep getting into it on jazzpiececasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next museum break. Bye-bye.